Now we have done some problems on this one. Now we will go for the stability of a partially submerged body. So basically, we have to study three types of equilibrium: with the stable equilibrium, unstable equilibrium, and neutral equilibrium. So very first thing is that the Archimedes principle already applied, and let consider here one section. So this is the front view of a ship, and let's say that we have made some angular displacement on the deck. Suppose this we make an angular displacement in a clockwise direction, and here the body will have an anti-clockwise moment. Then your external couple is cancelled by the body couple, and the body will come back to the original position. It's called as stable equilibrium. So any angular displacement is given, and the body will come back to the original position. In that case, it will be called as the stable equilibrium. In that case, the body will never come back to the original position. That is called as unstable equilibrium. So in un unstable equilibrium, it is not allowing the body back to the original position. So we are not interested in this, this type of equilibrium. Suppose we give the angular displacement and body does not react. That is called as neutral equilibrium. So body will get the new position as given by the angular displacement. So neither we are interested in unstable and neither we are interested in neutral equilibrium. So we have to check the condition for stable equilibrium and the body is already in floating condition. So let us consider that initially the body is in this position with the depth of immersion shown like this and let us say this is a G, the center of gravity of the body that is the ship and this one represents the level of water. This is the cross section of a volume displace. Centroid of this one is represented by B. This is called as original center of buoyancy. Now let us say that we will give the so we are given some angular displacement to this one so because of this one the ship will turn but still it is in floating condition so w is still equal to ab the original center of gravity will not change will remain as it is but the cross section of the volume displace has been changed so we get new center of buoyancy let us say the new center of buoyancy is b1 and let B1, B is the original center of buoyancy. So somewhere we have original center of buoyancy. Since the cross section has changed, therefore the center of position will change. So due to angular displacement, the position of center of gravity G remains unchanged, but the position of the center of buoyancy will change from B to B1. So here we define one point that is called as meta center. So we will define one point that is called as meta center here. So meta center is basically that point which is obtained by extending the line BG and a vertical drawn to new center of buoyancy. Where these two lines will meet, the point of intersection is called as meta center. It is assumed that about this point whole body is oscillating. So meta center is basically line joining BG and perpendicular drawn to new center of buoyancy B1. Here GM is called as metacentric height and this metacentric height will be positive then we, it is stable in equilibrium. We will justify this. So in this case we are given the angular displacement in a clockwise direction. So we will show this angular displacement is a clockwise direction. This is called as external couple and let us check out what the body will do. So in this case the weight will act vertically downward. Buoyant force will be act vertically upward but through the new center of buoyancy. And since it is a floating condition W is same as FB. So W and FB they are the two equal and parallel forces separated by a small distance so they will develop a couple and the sense of this couple is anti-clockwise. So this couple try to cancel the external couple and there is a chance that the body will come back to the original position. So this is a stable equilibrium condition. In the stable equilibrium condition the body will try to come back to the original position. So we conclude here that the meta center will lie above the point G and here the GM value was taken as positive or we can say meta center will lie above G. To justify the other type of equilibrium we will only draw now the line diagram. Remember the condition for stable GM is taken as positive and M lies above G. So basically GM is measured with respect to point G. If it is M is above, above the G it is taken as positive and below G it is taken as negative. Now let us consider here one situation where G is above M. So this one is original center of buoyancy. This one is G. Meta center is obtained by drawing the vertical line through new center of buoyancy. So let us say this is a new center of buoyancy is B1 where they intersect that point is called as meta center. And we have a same situation of external couple that is the angular displacement given to the body. So in this situation the weight will act vertically downward through the center of gravity. Buoyant, buoyant force will act through the new center of buoyancy. Both W and FB are equal to each other because of floating condition. 
so two parallel forces this time will produce a clockwise couple so this clockwise couple and external couple will never cancel each other or the body may overturn this type of equilibrium is so check the definition of unstable equilibrium the body will never come back to the original position so this represents the unstable equilibrium in this case we have to take gm negative or we can say m lies below g that is metacenter is below center of gravity now we'll discuss the last case in which m and g will coincide so here m and g are same points this one is original center of buoyancy b and this is new center of buoyancy b1 and the body we have given the external couple or angular displacement in a clockwise direction so w will pass through center of gravity buoyant will pass through the center of buoyancy these two forces will cancel each other and therefore body does not give any type of reaction to the external couple so body is neutral from the external action that is why this one is called as neutral equilibrium so in neutral equilibrium angular displacement of the body does not set up any type of couple so no couple is produced here that is why it is called as neutral equilibrium and the body will adopt the new position so in case of neutral equilibrium where value of gm will be equal to zero or we can say m and g are coincide now out of this case we are only interested in the stable equilibrium so we'll revisit the stable equilibrium first so in the stable equilibrium we have to find out the value of gm which was positive to find out gm we must know the first value of bm value of bm is normally given by moment of inertia about the liquid interface cross section divided by the volume displaced i is taken as the moment of inertia of the section at the liquid interface for cylinder and rectangular the section remain constant only in the case of cone the section we have to recalculate and we displace in this case is the volume of liquid displaced so this one is volume displaced now you can calculate b and gm from this figure always use the stable equilibrium figure gm equal to bm minus bg find out this value and if this answer come out to be positive or zero or negative according to that give your answer that is stable unstable or neutral if it is come out to be positive value conclude that it is a stable equilibrium if negative come out give the answer is unstable zero neutral 